Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. As you can see, I have baby Finn here and I am in the very final stages of finishing Finn up before he sits for his turn to be rooted. Um, Finn is the Finn Sculpt by Lillian Breville, Duress, Duress. <laughs> Um, meaning he was sculpted by Lillian Breville. He was poured, molded and poured by Claire Teller Dolls. And he was a blank kit that I've reborn myself. And I will be rooting him a little later. Um, but for right now, this is him. Um, I am like going back and forth, like I said, to try to catch every little shine spot. But... Um, this is one of the things that is very, very tricky. I zoom in so you can see a little bit of his details. I tried to capture him in the most natural lighting possible. Um, so, um, one thing about silicone is that silicone is not as um, simple as Reborns. Reborns is not easy either. Um, I don't want to like minimize the work that Reborn artists, because I do Reborns as well do but silicone is very very tricky and the matting process is probably one of the most little tricky tricky parts it seemed like it's the most easiest but it can be the most complex so um i have actually when he's had his second touch up to try to cap you know catch any shine spots on his front i do have to go back and there's like and do his backside but I wanted to, you know, at least give you guys um, a glimpse of him on video and also for his mommy if she's when she's watching. Um, but he, um, so I've already glossed his lips and everything. Um, I did since his first pictures that I took, um, I went in and I did his nail nails and stuff. And so what happens is. Um, so like his knuckles have not been matted because I can't do, you can't do them all on one side. I mean, you can't do both sides at one time. So you have to do one side, flip side. So it's a lot of work with painting silicone. I don't know if, you know, like I said, it sometimes is, is not for everybody. If you're looking for like per perfection, it's just not gonna happen. I purposely gloss certain spots on the babies like sometime I'll gloss their their little boobies, but I'm not gonna gloss his. I like them like they are, and like I'll wet his belly button. I wet his belly button a little bit, and I love his little belly button. Let me see if you can see. It's really gloomy out today, and I have natural sunlight coming in as well, but it just seemed like it's kind of gloomy. Now, let me see if I can zoom into his little belly button. I love his belly button. Let me let me get in. So you guys can see him up close. Um, he's just a gorgeous boy. I put a lot of work into him. I hope this video, this um, thing don't go quickly. But like this is the inside of his hand. So he had like a little shine spot on the inside of his hand. I went in and I did that. But you know, his mom is very familiar. She's collect. She has um, several other silicone babies, so she knows kind of how it goes. Um, but he is definitely a pure product of um, where the mommy just really just let me have my way. Um, you know, it was never like any back and forth or anything. Just kind of like, I mean, we talk, of course. Um, but yeah, so it's, it was just a very smooth transaction and um, so far. And so I was able to work very, very freely on him. And I, I think I do my best work then. And also full bodies, I think, um, is a little less complicated. But I do, I am enjoying painting Ashby right now. Like, that is my main focus right now. Because um, she is the next to you guys to see get painted. So I'm going to really enjoy her. Her mommy has told me to take my time. And she has been, like, super non-problematic, like... That, that's one customer has not, like, I message her and she's like, oh, child, <laughs> you know, like, whatever. Um, so, anyway, but he is, like, a really 
nice size. I'm going to show you guys his back. But like I said, keep in mind, you might catch a shine spot here or there. Um, and of course, unfortunately, the camera is not going to show you everything on this little baby because that's just how it is with the camera. And one of my mommies, um, Jolie mommy, she said, she told me, she said, you know, and I painted inside his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see, but his, his mouth is so cute. Um, and his little gum color is like, to me, perfect. And there's his little ears. But, um, yeah, Jolie mom told me, she said, you know what? The camera really just do not, um, capture all her details. So I, you know, it's, it's hap I'm happy about that. Sometimes, you know, mommies get the babies and they're not what they expect them to be. And not, you know, you have to kind of know that it, you're not going to always get it just right. But like, let's see, like you'll see a little shine spot right here. He, you know, he had like a little rough, one little rough patch and I usually don't get them, but I will, you know, I, I'm constantly still working on that part. So it might not be there by the time he gets his mom, but that little shine spot there. And like I said, I have to, I had to flip him over in order to get to these and then his little back and I like I see like like something here so I'll go in and I'll mat that and I'll mat this but that's you know this is this is his back let me see what you guys see try to zoom in for you guys I'm just showing you guys a little bit of my work um so like this is his little feet um <laughs> little, look at those little elbows. Um, so yeah. So he is um, Caucasian baby. He's you know heavily modeled and stuff like that. Um, he has some subtle veining, which you know I I like the vein. I like for the veining to be pretty subtle. So so that's him. Um, and like I said, like you barely can see it, but you have to catch it. Like the light have to hit it just right in order for you to catch the spot. But I see it right here. So, yeah. So at the end of the day, he, he go home, he will go home and I will, before he go home, I'll try to get, catch everything that my little eye can catch. But, um, and then he will get rooted and I'll look him over once again and we'll see how it goes um but yeah so that's that's mr finn i just like i said i just wanted to share with you guys see if i can get like up close mr finn i should have got over him when he was on his back did y'all want me to do that uh let me see it is like so super hard but he is so soft and um he's gonna be so much fun to dress i can't wait till i finish everything i can't lay him on like different blankets because i don't want fuzzies on him until i'm completely done with all his matting and then i'll wrap him up really good um because he does have like some some shine spots left and i have to like really um See, he got water come out because, like I said, he he's, I did the front part and I rinsed that off and like see on the back of his hand. But it's like, like I said, you have to do it in phases because um, you can't do it all at one time. That's the difference in the reborns. But let me show you. Uh, let's see like so let me let me get the light I don't even know focus like you can see it a little bit a little glimpse of a shine not that much of a big deal but yeah so like ah, his little leg <laughs> you see 
see his little little self. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so yeah, guys, that's 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 my work up close um on this little guy. I will come back and do of course another video of when he gets when I'm I feel satisfied that he is that I've hit all his shine spots. It's so annoying because you have to do it and then you have to wait all that time for it to cure and you know everything to be good on it and then you <laughs> when you get done you see something else and then you gotta wait again you gotta keep going through that whole process oh my goodness you look so cute from this angle i gotta leave him like that so i can take a picture <laughs> oh let me see if i can get you guys over from the angle that i was looking at i mean uh like he's so cute. Let me put the, the light back over here. Well, that's him. So yeah, I didn't do his lips the same as the first fin that I painted. Like, in fact, he's nothing like the first fin that I painted. Um, because I didn't want two babies to look the same. Um, just like when I paint my Ashby, I don't want her to look nothing like the other um, Alex babies that I've painted. Because I like them to have their own look and be special to their mommies. But um, I hope you guys like this video. Guys, you know, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share. And make sure you join the chatterbox, guys. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do with that. But I definitely still want to grow that membership. And um, I also um, want to know if you guys like seeing the baby's work in progress as I go um and then the end product um i'm gonna try to take some pictures of him now and then take pictures when he gets his hair um the hairstyle that we have this decided for him i won't get into the details of that but i do want to keep him very baby so he won't have as much hair as the um the last pan so it's gonna take me some time and concentration because Everything about this baby is going to be very unique and very special because it's like kind of like my first time trying to do certain things. But his mommy really wanted me to do him fully and he'd be fully completed by me. And so I am going to do my best as I always do my best. But, you know, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I... I really love him like and I got my own fan here and he's a blank scope and I haven't been able to paint him yet but I'm gonna paint him and then I'll be painting Felix which is a full body after I paint Ashby I want to make sure Ashby is like like probably like 80% done before I really dive into Felix um because I learned that I just need to concentrate one at a time on babies and I've kind of been doing that for a while like I just zone into one baby but um I'm not going to pressure myself to um get to the next baby because I really that's why Ashby um I was starting Ashby way back when but I didn't want to you know rush her paint job so now I'm fully focused I'll be fully focused on her as soon as I get all these little shine spots done with him. And then I'll start rooting but, um, and get um, Felix going. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I will come. I guess I'll come back when he's done and show, like, his movement. But he's just, like, so soft. Oh, like, he, like his wrinkles is so nice. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. But he wrinkles so nice. Oh, I just want to just kiss you you so yummy like he's so yummy like oh my gosh I just I really love him <laughs> oh my gosh it's like I fall in love with every baby like I would like not send him out like I'm so glad that he is already like spoken for he already have a mommy he's already you know <laughs> being paid for because like if he was a kid that I had just painted for myself and this painted and was deciding to sell, I wouldn't sell him. But <laughs> and it also made me like the idea that I have for my my fin. It made me not want to do mine. So I'm gonna take. I'm not gonna do my fin 
for a while because I want to be fresh in my thoughts. But anyway, once again, guys, I'm just rambling and just wanted to share a little bit of the process with you guys. And um, like I said, silicone is may not be for everybody. It's a very imperfect um, medium <laughs> and it's very tricky. And it, you know, each experience and every baby is so different. Um, but I've been enjoying them so far and I'm so glad I'm almost done with all my custom orders. So I'll be painting some babies and I'll have some babies up for sale for buy it now, guys. So just stay tuned. Just hang in there with me. If you guys are wanting to, um, get your hands on one of my babies, I'm going to be painting a few babies, um, that I will put up for sale. Cause I'm not going to keep all the babies that I have, um, in stock to paint for myself. I'm not going to keep them all. So, and you guys know I'm expecting my girl. Oh my gosh, my little uh, Louisa. So, I'm so excited about that. And um, like I said, I will, I don't want to reveal who's painting her. Um, but a very special woman. It's paint my Louisa for me. And so I'm very nesting very hard. Okay, guys. Anyway, that's the tea for the day. It ain't even Tuesday. Bye.